I'm Karen Will, and I'm a contributing editor to Grit Magazine, as well as a blogger for MotherEarthNews.com. Uh, today we're making a light wheat sandwich bread, and this recipe can be found at Grit.com. You've got one egg that's been slightly beaten. You've got your salt, your yeast, some melted butter, some honey, and a cup of water. You want to first start by having your water at about 110 degrees. You can measure that with an instant read thermometer. You're going to pour that into a large mixing bowl along with two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. You just want to let that sit for about five minutes to make sure it's active. So after five minutes has passed and your yeast has been proofed, you want to add your salt, this is a quarter cup of honey, one slightly beaten egg, and two tablespoons of melted butter and you want that to be slightly cooled. So once that's all nice and stirred and blended, we're gonna start adding our flour. You wanna add about half of the flour You just want to get that really nice and moist and get that all mixed in. So you want to add a little bit more. You're going to add this gradually. You want to leave about a quarter cup in the bowl. And you just want to stir this until a ball starts to form. It'll still be pretty sticky. You can kind of just bring the dough up and over itself until you have a nice sticky ball of dough. It's ready for kneading. So you had about a quarter cup of flour left in your bowl. You want to put that directly on the countertop or wherever you like to work. Just make sure it's nice and clean. Have some flour handy just in case you need to uh, get your hands in it. You want to just start pushing that sticky dough into the flour and letting it absorb it. I try not to add any more flour than what's called for in the recipe so that you don't end up with a lot of extra flour. Works really well to just push it around 
and start kneading into the, all that extra flour. So you want to knead this for about five minutes. Okay, it's just about ready. So you end up with a nice silky ball of dough that you want to put into an oiled bowl. I'm just using a little bit of sunflower oil, just maybe about a teaspoon. You want to put the dough ball in there, flip it over just so you coat all sides of it. You just want to cover that with plastic wrap and let it sit for about two hours at room temperature. So it's been about two hours and our dough has probably doubled in size. It's a nice little dough mass and that's what it looks like. We're going to knead it again, so slightly flour your surface. We're just going to give it a quick knead. And the dough isn't really sticky anymore, so you don't need to keep adding flour to it. That'll just make it tough. You want to do this for up to five minutes too. So again, might be a good idea to set your timer as a guideline. So you want to start forming it into a log. And this is like a real casual thing. It's not formal at all. Just slightly elongate it. And you can either grease your loaf pan or use a non-stick loaf pan like this. This is a nine by five inch loaf pan. So you want to take your, your loaf and put it into your loaf pan. And you want to gently press it so that it touches all sides. And then I just put a slight, a slight coating of oil on top. And this is really just so that the plastic wrap that you're going to put on it doesn't stick. Again, I'm using sunflower oil. Just kind of loosely cover it, and you're going to let that sit for another hour. Okay, so we're back, and the bread has been rising for about an hour. And you just want to take the plastic wrap, and hopefully it won't stick when you uncover it. Peel it off carefully. Take a really sharp knife, the sharpest knife you have, and we're just going to make a couple of slashes so that the steam can escape. And uh, it doesn't always work work very well if your knife isn't really sharp. So just do your best. And then your bread is ready for the oven. So our oven is preheated to 400 degrees. And what I'm doing here is, is I've boiled some water, about a couple of cups of water. And I have a pan at the, on the lower rack. And I want to pour that in there. Do this really carefully. So we're going to put our bread on the middle rack and we're going to bake that for 20 minutes. And we'll check back in after 20 minutes. Okay. okay, so our hot bread is just out of the oven and we're going to turn it out onto a cooling rack. And there you have it. You want to let it cool for at least an hour and after that we'll slice it and we'll have fresh bread. Okay, so our bread is now cool. We're just going to slice into it. You have a nice soft sandwich bread ready for sandwiches and it's just as easy as that. Uh, you want to make sure that your bread cools completely. Uh, if it's gummy inside it's probably because you didn't let it cool enough or you didn't cook it long enough to reach 195 degrees. You can find this recipe and more in Grit's Guide to Homemade Bread available at grit.com. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're encouraged to try bread at home.